Hey guys, we're back with our Scotland gameplay, the part 2. Um, we did quite well in the first part. Uh, we beat Wales 8-0 and we lost against Estonia as well. So, kind of mixed in that regard if you think about it. But we did well to beat Wales 8-0 and we're top of the group. We're joint top of this group. We've got to play Belarus now away from home. So let's just continue. Let's just keep going. I really hope you guys enjoy the first part. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this part as well. We're going to wrap up the qualification here. We're going to do all six games again. So I hope you're ready for this ride. It's going to be a long video as usual. I don't know really if you guys enjoyed longer videos or if you enjoy shorter videos. For me personally, I prefer to put out a massive long video, like a 30 minute long video with everything that I want to put in there. But some people only like to watch about 10 minutes or so. Maybe they come back to it later or maybe they don't come back to it, you know. But anyway. Belarus, away from home, let's go. We only beat this side 1-0 last time, but because we smashed Wales 8-0, um, I'm more confident in beating Belarus, although they are top at the moment. With a, Well, we've got a game in hand on Belarus, so it'll be nice to like slow them down, slow their momentum down a little bit, down Fletcher to whip it in. No. But we get the we get the rebound and McFadden. Oh, that was a good save by the goalkeeper. He had to act really late there, but he did it. Ferguson with the skills to pay the bills. Oh, he, he, he fooled that player there. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That was beautiful, and it's one nil to Scotland against Belarus. Barry Ferguson with his first goal in the qualifying campaign. How about that? And he's a captain as well. Nice one. Speaking of captains, I really want to do Captain Your Country soon. But I'm not sure what player to use or what game to play. Um, I really wanted to do Mohamed Salah on 2014 World Cup. But the problem is, his player model doesn't look anything like him. Because he's a generic player on that game. Because he wasn't famous in 2014. So, um, if you can think of any players... That would be great to use for Captain Your Country sort of thing, either on this game, 2000, no, 2006 doesn't have Captain Your Country, um, you know, uh, South Africa, um, the other one, 2014, then yeah, put it down in the comments below. Controlling the game at the moment, Scotland have been pretty good. This team, like I said in the first gameplay, they, they're not bad at all really. I mean, they're three-star team, but and they play like they're sort of a four and a half. Through ball, and through ball again. McFadden, he's going through on goal. Can he tap it in? Yes, he can. It's too easy for Scotland. It's 2-0. McFadden with the goal. Alright, so Belarus are losing to... I think we're probably qualified, to be honest. A couple more games to, like, win... If we win a couple more games, you know... Belarus free kick on the edge of the box. What are they going to do here? Are they going to try and score? No, we're not going to let them. We're not going to let them score. Bad shot by Belarus and that must be half time right now. Uh, yes, it is and we're 2-0 up. Nice one. Nella. Look how fast this guy is. He's just he's become such a beast. I went a little bit too far there, but it's fine. I think I might throw on some subs or maybe I should wait into a smaller team, you know, and reshape the team. Oh, that was a mix-up by the defence, and Miller shoots, but the goalkeeper keeps him out. Okay, so we just beat Belarus 2-0. Quite a convincing result, really. We got both our goals in the first half, but then they kept us quiet in the second. Not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. Okay, so the next match we got Israel. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some revenge on them for what they did to us on their home ground. I'm hoping that... Look, our stats have gone... Have gone up as well, so we're, we're actually getting better. You can see it on the side. Israel's speed has gone up as well, but all the other stats have gone down. The little lines on the underneath tell you what the team should be at. So this game's got a good form system. To McFadden to Miller. Here we go. Someone get in the area. It's only one person in the area at all times, but here comes Ferguson now. Oh, that's a powerful shot. Another shot. Oh, the keeper from Israel denies him. What a shot that was, and what an opportunity for, for Scotland to go 1-0 up. God, that shot. Keeper saved it. Usually they don't save those, but credit to the keeper for that one. Come on, we need to do something. Israel are kind of like just being super defensive and draining the life out of this game. Whips it in. Oh, I would have thought Miller would have had that. 
Malto beating Wales 1-0. Wow, Wales really haven't recovered from that 8-0, have they? Fadden, here we go. Oh, that was a decent tackle, but it didn't stop me. Here we go. Oh, my God. That Israel keeper is just insane, man. McCulloch. It's the 87th minute. He needs to do something to get this Scotland team motivated. Oh, nobody was there. What the hell? Like, Miller looked like he was going in for the header, but... Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on. But... Nevertheless, we didn't lose. A little bit of a wasted opportunity by Scotland. Couldn't beat Israel twice. And we lost against them and then we draw against them. But it's okay. It's okay. We didn't lose. Wales actually lost against Malta, by the way, as well. That's pretty embarrassing. And Liechtenstein beat Northern Ireland 2-0 as well. So quite a lot of shocking results in this match day. All right, our next game is against Malta away from home. Nice. Let's do an overhaul of this team. Let's, like, um, let's have a look and just see. Uh, who we can put on because like it doesn't really matter who we put on really does it because like we're gonna we're gonna like win regardless surely all right we completely like mashed up the team for this game because I feel we could definitely win this game with us with a least stronger team we got 16 points Wells have got 14 and Bullaris have got 13 but there's literally like four teams in the running there if you actually saw that before it actually went but here we go Malta Versus Scotland. I swear I got fouled on that play. Yeah, I did. Can we score a free kick on this one? I can't even. I can't even see really, but we'll go for it. Why not? Oh, it was going towards the goal, but not really the swing I had wanted, and not really the power I wanted either. This is poor by Scotland. We can't do anything at the moment. Malta are so defensive. They seem to be, like, really on form at the moment. It's like, what the hell? I have a feeling the computer is going to be a little bit of a bitch at the moment. I really feel that they're trying to do something. I mean, okay, fair play if Malta want to play like that, but they have nothing to play for. They haven't qualified. Not yet, anyway. Unless they do beat me, then that might push them into the qualification region. But I highly doubt it. Oh, that was unlucky. If only he actually did head the ball like I told him to, then we would have probably been 1-0 up. But instead, we're drawing 0-0 at half-time. Very underwhelming from the B team. I would have thought the B team would beat Malta. Come on. This is just like, how, what the hell? I experienced this with, um, with Estonia. Estonia did this to me. They started just playing around and just I couldn't get the ball off of them. And this is the problem. And then I bet you I'll go into the next game and I would absolutely stomp my next opponent. I bet you. I bet you. But Malta are just playing such a stingy game and it's just like, stop it. Look at this. I can't even tackle them. What is this? What's going on here? Is it offside? Yes, it is. Decent. Has a shot. Oh my god, unlucky. Oh. Wait, is that a corner? Please be a corner. Yes, it is. Lucky. Lucky corner there. Go on. You've got that, right? Oh, that's got to be a header. Yes, it is. Yes, finally we found a way through with our, our reserves. It's, um, I don't even know who that is. It's O'Connor at the goal. I don't even know who he is, but <laughs> he's got a weird hairstyle. Bit of a defensive mistake by Malta, and we may, we punish him for it. This game has been very, very defensive. Both sides have been extremely defensive, especially Malta. Malta have been high press, in my face, the whole time. It's like really uncharacteristic, really. But, you know, if you beat Wales, then you probably have a lot of um, decent form with you. So, I don't blame them for trying. Oh, that's a good ball. Hopefully, that's still on side. Charlie Adam finishes it off beautifully. He still has hair in this one, which is a bit weird. 86th minute, Charlie Adam with the goal. I was lucky it went through that guy's legs and just had to put it into the back of the net. The reserves did well today. Considering, you know, Malta... Played a really, really good game. This one, Scotland win with their B team. Great, great result for them. Ferguson was running the show, of course. The only uh, senior player in the squad. The rest of them 
B team players. Okay, the next game is against Slovakia. We beat Slovakia last time, thanks to the goalkeeper of Slovakia, of course, if you watched that one. Miller intercepts it. Look at this run by Miller. Look how fast he is. It's raining, so i got to get my shot in early. Oh, great save. That goalkeeper knows how to keep Miller out. He did it in the first video, and he's doing it right now. God, it's like torrential in Scotland. Raining all the time. That's basically true, to be fair. Always rains in the UK. Miller, oh, that was a beautifully taken shot, but the goalkeeper went into that animation where it's just like, nope, just going to save it, regardless of the type of shot. Get it, Miller? Been very good in this qualifying campaign. Diving header by McFadden. Uh, hits the post. Slovakian keeper is calling for his defence to wake up. His diving header was unlucky. Look at this. Oh, just off the post. Fletcher. Fletcher. Oh, he just snuck it past the keeper there. And it's 1-0 thanks to Darren Fletcher. Good goal, to be fair. Threaded it through the defence there. And he just picked it up. Early shot. Bang into the bottom corner. It's 1-0 to Scotland. I think if we win this one, we've definitely qualified. We definitely have. And I think we end Slovakia's sort of, like, qualification as well. I think Slovakia, like, uh, last in the group, I think, I want to say. Please get out, Slovakia. I can't even go near them. Well, they come close there, but thankfully Craig Gordon keeps them out. The angle was uh, against them anyway, so... See what they do on this corner. Hopefully they don't score. Please don't. I want to, like, qualify now. <laughs> Don't really want to have to face Estonia because Estonia actually beat me. Oh, tested my keeper again. I thought I tackled him like here, got, but he just did a, like a fake shot sort of thing and faked me out. Oh my god, Slovakia. Like, we didn't close them down at all there. I tried to slide in front of it, but they took the early shot and Slovakia scored against us. It's a good goal, to be fair. He just came towards the goal there. I tried to slide in front of it, but no, nothing doing, and it's 1-1. But Larissa taking the lead against Malta now. It's getting close in those second place spots. Remember, I still need to win here to officially qualify. Miller? He acted like he was injured, but I don't think he is anymore. Miller? Oh my god. Malta have now drawn against uh, Belarus. Now it's 2-2. Taking a goal back. And we have got 10 minutes to turn this game around. Wales are beating Estonia 3-2, so it's getting heated in those second place spots, like I said. McCulloch, he's running, kinda. Whips it in. Can Miller get there? Oh, why did he head her out so badly? How is that there? So I thought they took tapped out. Belarus are 4-2 up now, they've sealed that game. And we have dropped points again. This is not good, Scotland. I mean, okay, Slovakia are a decent side, so it's not too bad, but still. San Marino beat Russia 1 0. Wow, that's amazing. Come on, San Marino. Right, our next game is against Estonia away from home. We'll do this game and then we'll check the group stage and then do the final game because we'll analyse everything and see what happens with the groups and stuff like that. Even though the game will tell me who qualified, obviously, because it will either send me into the group stages or not. I need to get a point here, or three points at least. We need to beat Estonia. I looked at the table, it came up on the uh, menu screen. I've got 20 points. Wales and Belarus have both got 17. There's two games to play, so I still could get dumped out of the qualifi qualification, which is um, not ideal. But one of the games I do have to play Wales, and Wales were absolutely dire against me. Now what are Estonia going to do against me? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, like, Estonia almost, like, they whipped it in and it hit the bar. For some reason, Estonia feel like they're just, like, beast. So you have nothing to play for, really, do you? They have a shot. Oh, oh. Yes, you got past him. That's good. McFadden. Oh, oh. Why did Miller go behind the defender there on the rebound? Why did he do that? Oh, McFadden actually turned. Oh, hang on, a mistake. McFadden, yeah, we go, thunderous strike into the back of the net, and it's 1-0 to Scotland. This result basically means that Scotland will go through thanks to James McFadden. That was a hell of a tackle by Ferguson, and then I got the foul off of him as well. Oh, I accidentally fouled him off the ball. Damn it. 
Right, they got a free kick on the edge of the box. Clavin's coming off, so we might have an easier time now. Oh my god, they actually scored that free kick. They actually scored that free kick. That's mental. Estonia? What the hell? They actually, like, curled it round over the ball, and oh my god. Alright, so it's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> okay, thanks Estonia. I mean, it wouldn't be a Scotland qualification if Scotland didn't make it hard for themselves. They always do, every single time. Either they crash out because they make it too hard on themselves, or, like this year, they made it hard for themselves by doing the playoffs. Oh my god. That was unlucky. Oh, and again. Such a great save by the Estonian keeper to deny McFadden on that one. Oh, I just, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. I dropped points against the same two teams, Estonia and Israel, of course. Slovakia were a new one, admittedly, but I expect that because Slovakia are on the same level as Scotland. One minute of added, they're pushing as well. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Just boo it out and get the rubbish result out of here. Terrible. Terrible. We just weren't there. Miller wasn't there. Naismith really wasn't there either. He scored the first goal, but he hadn't done anything else. Really lackluster by Scotland, and Estonia would take this one. Even if Estonia don't qualify, they'll take it. Alright, before we get into the last game, I want to have a look at the groups, even though they come up on the side anyway, but we're going to analyse them in detail. So, um... I'm fairly sure this group is over because there's... Oh no, this one isn't because you've got to play 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so at the moment, we've got Portugal on top, but we've got Greece, Denmark uh, and Italy all fighting for the, those positions there. I think Kazakhstan just fall, fell short there and so did Bulgaria. In Group B, we have our group. Now this is... Well, we've basically... We've qualified... Uh, well, we've qualified... Um, at the moment, but we got to beat Wales. They got our game in hand on us, and so Israel and Slovakia. So all the teams did pretty well in that group. But hopefully, if I beat Wales, I can sort of go through. Even if I don't go through, I'll go through in second place, surely. But yeah, see what happens. See what happens. Wales, Wales and Israel. I think it's over for Israel. Well, actually, no, it's not over because if they get three points, they have 18. So yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see that one. Group C, we have Georgia and Albania going through on that one. Car. Oh my God, San Marino, please. You got two games. You got two games, man. You got two games to play. Wait, have you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you got two games to play. Please, San Marino, sneak in there. Please, San Marino, please do something. God, Georgia did well to top that group. Russia are really struggling. Albania as well done well. Group D, we have Germany and Croatia going through um, at the moment. Czech Republic could ruin Croatia, but I don't know, 18... No, actually, no, they can't. The Croatia have actually gone through. So, yeah, that's that group sorted out. Um, group E, we have France dominating that group. And then you've got Northern Ireland, Macedonia and Latvia. And possibly Cyprus. No, not Cyprus. Um, those two, those three teams there all going for it. Group F, we have Spain and Serbia. And the Netherlands and Belgium all gunning for that uh, top spots. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens in that one. And in Group G, we have England going through but look at this we have Turkey Armenia and Norway all gunning for those spots Sweden have missed out they haven't done it but yeah I hope it's Armenia I really hope it is but anyway we're going to play our last match which is, which is against Wales here we go then in Scotland it's Scotland versus Wales let's hope that we get another result like we did last time against Wales which was that 8-0 thumping oh that's a good tackle by Ducky who the hell's Ducky? Oh, I'm guessing it's Duffy. I don't know. I don't even know. No, Duffy's an Irish player, so what the hell? There we go. 1-0 against Wales. McFadden with the goal. And the goals are going to start piling in again, hopefully. I hope so. I can't tackle Wales. Like, what's going on? They're playing way better than they did in the, the first video, that's for sure. Wales have been quite gritty in defence. They, they haven't let me have anything, really. Could go 2 0 up here if we get the shot in. Oh, good save. 
Oh, look at that. We finish him off nice and strong. Miller with another goal to add to his campaign. Scotland are loving it. They basically qualified. A little bit unlucky for Wales, really. I crossed it back in and um, I don't think they were ready for it because it was from a deflection. It's been a really uneventful like last 20 minutes or so. Nothing has happened. It's just been Wales tackling me, me tackling Wales back. But it'll be interesting to see who actually qualified from these groups once I finish this game. And we can wrap the video up and do the third part, which is the actual tournament, and see how far we can get. Alright, there we go. We won 2 0 against Wales, and we've qualified for Euro 2008. How about that? Thank you, Scotland. Um, a little bit inconsistent in the middle of the gameplay there, but, you know, sometimes that happens, I guess. Okay, these are the groups then. We've got in Group A, we've got Austria, Portugal, Georgia, and Belarus. Group B, we've got Spain, Northern Ireland, Germany, and Switzerland. Group C, we have England, Albania, and Denmark, and myself. And in Group G, we have Croatia, France, Belgium, and Norway. So we didn't get our San Marino going through, but we do have Georgia and Belarus and Albania. So newcomers to the Euro scene. Of course, Albania did end up qualifying in um, Euro 2016, was it? Yeah, Euro 2016. So yeah, but um, obviously Georgia and Belarus never done it before. And Northern Ireland as well. They qualified early as well, I guess. So that's another. And Norway as well. I I'm fairly sure Norway have qualified maybe once or twice. I'm not sure. Alright, so if you did enjoy this video, then uh, give it a like and subscribe. Um, keep the notifications on so you get updates for every single video. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.